Hi everyone, Grey Power 60 here. I just wanted to show off my Christmas sweater. I don't even know what it says, isn't that awful? Oh, Candy Cane Kisses. Yeah, Candy Cane Kisses. It's, oh, one of my Christmas sweaters. It was my brother's birthday today, and I went and bought him a real fun Christmas shirt with, um, Santa Claus on it. It was black with Santa Claus on it. It was really cute. So, anyway, we had a good time, and I just thought I, oh, look at my hair. Oh. Um, and I just thought I'd show you. So, this is my first one. I'll go and put on my other one. This is my sweatshirt. It's a gray sweatshirt. Like, oh my god, chill. <laughs> I just love it, love it, love it. Kind of hard for me to stand tippy-toe. But, um, it's a little bit big, which is great. I'll be able to wear this with a nice turtleneck underneath. Just look at the tag on it. Got them at Walmart. It was only $15. There we go. Anyway, just thought I would share that with you. Alrighty, so I went to my daughter's today, and these are all the heart-shaped doggy treats that she made. All natural ingredients, flour, uh, chicken broth and bacon bits so her dog loves them so now I got to figure out how I'm going to package those up these ones were packaged for six small um, uh, milk bones so now I got to figure out how I'm going to package these ones up I may put them in little bags with the little I woof you on them not sure yet, but those that's going to be great. So I'm going to have both. I'm going to have uh, homemade as well as the milk bone. Alrighty, another little tip. Alrighty, the day before my last craft fair, I'm just getting organized here. I'm packing things up. Um, and I'm just, I'm not making anything other than my doggy treats. Oops. My doggy treats. My daughter made these homemade doggy treats. I'm going to sell them for a dollar. Um, these are flour, chicken broth, and bacon bits. And her dog just loves them. So I thought I would do that. And I had a few of the milk bone ones left. So... That should be plenty. I'm not going to do any more because I'm not sure how busy it's going to be. It's a school one, so I think it's going to be pretty quiet. These kid pack and goes didn't even get looked at, so I am going to... I'm making a couple of purses full of donations that I am going to bring to the mission or to the um, Shepherds of Good Hope Um for uh, homeless families and so on so that the kids have a little fun thing so anything extra that I have I have I'm going to bring these pencil sets I'm just going to sell them for 50 cents each um, if they don't sell that's fine um, they are also going to go in the donation box I have actually it's not a donation box let's show you here my dirty laundry there this is a purse and I have a couple of those and I've got a lot of uh, hand sanitizer some peppermints um, these are the uh, pens I have some pencils with erasers and so on and those I am just going to donate um, to the mission because um, I don't think they're going to sell what else um, there's a couple of other things that I have here that I am going to donate because I know um, they're just not going to sell I am going to try and sell the, I never sold any of the uh, scented um, sachets that I made but that's okay because I can use those I did sell a few um, two, four, six, I got six left, so I sold half, half of my salted cones, um, 
two, four, six. I had ten of these, so I sold four popcorn. And these are the sweet, sweet and salty popcorns with a little candy cane on top. A what else didn't what didn't sell? Um, these didn't sell at all. I thought they'd be kind of a cute decoration. There's a little chocolate in it, and you can put a um, gift card in there. Um, I only had four four of these Santa keys, and I only sold one. So I am reducing the price. These hot chocolate packets, the ones with just the spoon, straw, and thing that I was selling for a dollar, didn't sell at all, at all. However, do I have them here? Oh, these ones sold really well. And this one has the hot cocoa, the marshmallows, the straw, the chocolate, and the candy cane. And these ones, I have four left, and I had 12, I believe. So those ones sold well. So I may repackage these. I can find the rest of them. Everything is a hot mess. Um, my tea, my assorted teas, even though, you know, they were just not in really Christmassy paper, those sold pretty good. Um, I'll have to check and see how many I have left. They're all in this box. What I did is I put these extra tea in case they wanted to exchange the tea. Um, so I'm going to put those all in there. The lip balm, the, the reindeer food didn't sell. I think I sold one. Um, so I'm going to reduce prices. Um, I know it sound, sounds kind of dumb, but, um, so my assorted teas are a dollar. They were okay. My lip balms, um, they sold okay. Um, let's say I had 12, I sold four or five, five, I think. So they were okay. Um, the reindeer food, I'm going to sell these for 50 cents. These ones I'm going to continue selling for $2. So if I have any the reindeer food there, no hand sanitizers. They did not sell at all. So I'm going to try and sell them for a dollar each. Um, we shall see how that goes. Um, some of these treat boxes here, um, these things here, I'm also going to donate. I am not going to bother trying to sell those. Um, and these little snowball, snowball fight um, ornaments uh, didn't sell at all. What else? Oh, the notebooks. These notepads, none of these sold at all. Um, they just were not. I have the three pack and I have the single pack and they didn't sell at all. And my, scent, and my scented sachets didn't sell. So we're going to check it out. These ones, I think I only, these were the little jelly jar um, I've got the peppermint patty in there. These did not sell. I might put um, some bows on these and maybe they might catch somebody's eye and try and sell those. And that's it guys. What else? What else have I got? Yeah. So anyway, uh, I'm reducing my table. Um, I only sold one or two of these mini nail polish, so I'm going to sell them for a dollar each. Um, I sold quite a few of the little purses. I think I've only got a few left, so those sold really well. No, none of my paper products, none of my paper things like pads and these, these kid packs, I am just going to grab those, put them in my donation box. Um, I just think that, um, you know, kids could really use them. And Anyway, <clears throat> so that's it. That's what I'm doing. None of my cocoa, um, hot cocoa movie night mugs 
sold. Mind you, I had them for $8 each, so I have reduced them now to 5 And if halfway through they don't, I'll sell them for uh, 4 or maybe um, we shall see anyway, because I don't want to bring them home. Alrighty, guys, I'm getting ready. This is packed up. I only sold one of my wreaths that I made. These, these wreaths, I only sold one of those. They were $5 each. So I only sold one of those. So I'm trying to just be realistic with a lot of those. The salted caramel cocoa cones um, sold well. They like the salted caramel. It's kind of the, the taste. Sea salt, chocolate, and the salted caramel seems to be the going thing right now. Anyway, guys, I will let you go and join me tomorrow for my school craft um, show. We shall see how that goes. Um, and that's about it. That's about it. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.